Welcome back. You're watching KTN News. I'm Joy Doreen Bira. Isuzu Motors is set to take over management of General Motors East Africa after acquiring a controlling stake in the company. General Motors East Africa, which for over 40 years sold Isuzu, Chevrolet and Opel brands, will now transition into an entity that will be wholly devoted to the Isuzu brand while retaining current management. For 40 years, General Motors East Africa has grown to command a significant market share of 35.1% of the Kenyan automobile market as of December 2016. The company has been home to several car brands with nostalgic value to many Kenyans like the Chevrolet LUV pickups of the 70s and 80s, Opel and the iconic Isuzu brands of Trax, pickups and at one point a family saloon car dubbed the Isuzu Uhuru. Isuzu's acquisition of 57.7% of General Motors' stake now means General Motors East Africa will likely rebrand to a different brand name with the Isuzu Maki as its focal point. So after this announcement, we are going through regulatory approval. After receipt of all the regulatory approval. According to the company, it intends to invest heavily in assembly and sales of light and mid duty trucks and buses, as well as import and sales of pickup trucks. However, the other car brands that have been making a significant sell for General Motors, like the Chevrolet passenger cars and SUVs, will only be maintained and serviced by the company. We will continue to strengthen our after sales operation, our manufacturing capability to tap into the growth opportunity that this market presents. Isuzu major stake leaves the Kenyan government in second place with shareholding of 20% through ICDC, Centum Investments in third place at 17.8% and the minority stake of 4.5% held by Japan's Itoshu Corporation. What will give us competitiveness is of course our brand. General Motors says it will continue to offer after-sales services to its customers as Isuzu expands its vehicle sales points in the fields of personnel training, manufacturing technique and enhancement of after-sales business. Innovation is said to be an opportunity area for young and rising entrepreneurs in Kenya and beyond. The Catholic University is currently hosting the 15th University Education Exhibition and Discourse where universities are showcasing their different innovations. And our reporter Ashley Mazuri visited the exhibition and sampled some of the innovations there. Seeing an LED display, yeah, that scrolls characters from left to right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the display itself can actually accommodate five characters. The, the complexity of the nature itself, it's, it's, it's a maiden project for me. It's one of the projects that I did that encompassed many components. So yeah, it's, and it came out well, so I'm happy with it. And I hope maybe it will take uh, like sort of a footfall in the market as well. Okay. Yeah. I'm doing a project here with the name Green Tech. Yes. Yeah. Green Tech is a system that... Uh, let me say equalizes the mamamboga and us so i have to buy what i am i have to, i'm supposed to buy and that mamamboga has to get what she deserves to get okay. so i don't have to go and pick two and pay 10 shillings and another person comes pick two and pay 10 shillings so it's a system that equalizes and uh, as the theme indicates it's a technological in a digital era so we are trying to make that mamamboga's feel the effect of engineering technology and digital era yeah after school you'll be surprised that quite a number of them we have retained them on board mm -hmm. as uh, lecturers as uh, people who are assisting the laboratories and even some of them are assisting the university in various support departments like our ICT department in uh, running the programs that assist the university to run The National Lands Commission has rejected an evaluation done by the Kenya Airports Authority to compensate 130 families occupying land earmarked for the first phase of the Malindi Airport expansion. The Commission's chairman, Dr. Mahmoud Swazuri, said the evaluation done in 2012 by Kenya Airports Authority at Kwachoka South Area was fake and is not recognized by the Commission. Swazuri says that the evaluation can only be done by the Lands Commission. The National the government has released 300 million shillings to compensate 130 families which will be displaced in the next 
in the rather in the 25 hectares meant for phase one of Malindi Airport. It is projected that the entire expansion program for the Malindi Airport will cost 5.6 billion shillings. So Zuri spoke during a meeting with residents of Kwachoka South in Malindi Town to end the anxiety on when the process of compensation would be complete. He watu wa kwachocha hapa hasa upande huu wengi wetu tumesema tumechoka tupewe tuondoke watakaobaki wenye vifua vya kupambana serikali wao wataendelea asante kama serikali itakuwa imefungwa sana paka ikitaka kujenga barabara ninyonge paka ikaombe jamani wajua tataka kujenga na manufaa ya barabara ya wananchi sasa itakuwa hakuna serikali na nyinyi ndio mtalalamika oh barabara hii hakuna Oh hapa hakuna shule oh hapa lakini mkiambia tujengeni basi wazima ah tutaki na ardhi yetu itakuwa maendeleo hakuna The Ministry of Tourism is projecting a 20% jump in revenue to reach 92 billion shillings in 2017 up from 84.6 billion collected last year from the sector. Tourism Principal Secretary Fatuma Hersey says they also expect the number of tourists to go up from 1.18 million this year to 1.34 million uh, despite the fact that it was an electioneering year. Speaking in Malindi during the official launch of a partnership between the Tourism Ministry the Ministry of Environment, Natural Resources and Regional Development Authorities and key stakeholders to promote ecotourism. At Ocean Beach Resort in Malindi, the PS said tourism has improved over the last one year. The launch workshop brought together stakeholders from the Beach Management Unit, Lands, Physical Planning, Environment, Natural Resources and Regional Development to ensure that they collectively work together to preserve the ecosystem and beach management. The sector has been facing challenges in beach tourism from uh, curio sellers, beach operators, among others. Uh, from tourism earnings, this year we want to finish at 92 billion. And we want to, last year we finished at 1.18 million uh, tourist arrivals. This year we want to finish at 1.4. Considering it's a political year, we really don't uh, want to put our targets too high, but uh, we will keep improving. Let's now take a look at how the money market did perform. Of course, the Kenya shilling continues to strengthen against the US dollar. Let's now take a look at how the stocks also performed. Well, that's it for business, but for more, remember to log on to our website, ktnnews.com. My name is Joy Doreen Bira. Coming up next is KTN Sports.